Okay, so we're back, diving deeper, right into the heart of sales analytics. Picking up uh, where we left off last time, you know, with that whole necessary condition analysis thing, right. NCA. Yeah. Right, right. Getting down to what actually really drives those sales wins. Exactly. It's not just about doing a ton of stuff. It's about doing the right stuff, the stuff that matters. I like that, the stuff that matters. Yeah. So last time we kind of got our feet wet with uh, what NCA is all about. But this time... This time we get our hands dirty. Exactly. <laughs> we got to figure out how this NCA thing can actually help sales teams just like totally crush it. Absolutely. NCA can be a game changer. You know, it gives you that laser focus. Okay. So I was looking back at uh, Dr. Richard Conde's work, why necessary condition analysis is superior. And he's got this great analogy in there. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. It's like, imagine trying to bake a cake, right? Okay, I'm with you. But you have no clue what the essential ingredients are. You just start throwing stuff in. Exactly. Flour, sugar, maybe some hot sauce. Who knows? Chaos in the kitchen. Total chaos. And the cake. Well, it's probably going to be a disaster. A total flop. You might end up with a brick instead of a cake. Yeah. And that's what happens in sales sometimes, right? We're busy, busy, busy. But are we focusing on the right things? The essential ingredients for closing deals. That's the million dollar question. And that's where NCA comes in. It helps us identify those must haves, those things that if you don't have them, the deal is doomed. Like leaving out the baking powder. Mm. No matter how much sugar you add, that cake ain't rising. Exactly. So instead of just looking at how many calls we make or how quickly we respond to emails. We need to dig deeper. Exactly. We need to figure out which of those activities are actually moving the needle. Which ones are the baking powder of our sales process? I love that analogy. You know, Dr. Conde talks about all these traditional sales metrics, things like the number of follow-ups, response time, how good our customer research is. Right, right. Even how well we weave storytelling into our pitches and how quickly we get those proposals out the door. Sure, those all sound important. They are important, but are they all necessary? That's the key question. So how do we figure that out? That's where the real power of NCA comes in. It helps us separate the truly critical factors from the ones that are just nice to have. Okay, I'm intrigued. Walk me through this. So let's say you have a sales team that's doing great in a lot of areas. Mm -hmm. Their response times are lightning fast. Their proposals are beautifully crafted. They're checking all the boxes. Right, but they're still losing deals. Why? What's missing? Well, NCA might reveal that there's one crucial element they're missing. One necessary condition that without it, the deal simply won't go through. So even if they're nailing everything else, if they miss this one thing. Game over. Wow. So it's like a bottleneck. Okay. Everything grinds to a halt if that one condition isn't met. Exactly. It's like, imagine you're selling software to big corporations. Okay. NCA might reveal that having a high level champion within that organization is a must have for closing deals above a certain value. So someone on the inside who's really advocating for your product. Exactly. Without that internal advocate, it doesn't matter how amazing your demos are, how great your pricing is, the deal probably won't happen. That makes you realize how much effort we might be wasting in sales. Right, good like time. We spin our wheels on things that, while helpful, aren't really those deal breakers. We need to focus on that baking powder. Yes, and that's the beauty of NCA. It takes away the guesswork. It helps us pinpoint the actions that really, truly move the needle. So it's not just about analyzing data. It's about taking a citation. 100%. NCA helps us work smarter, not harder. This is great stuff. I bet our listeners are already thinking about their own sales processes. I hope so. I mean, think about it. What are the metrics that really matter in your world? What are the make or break factors that determine whether you win or lose a deal? These are the questions we need to be asking ourselves. Absolutely. Because once you know the answers, you can focus your energy where it really counts. And that's what NCA is all about. Identifying those bottlenecks, those crucial elements that can make or break a deal, and then figuring out how to address them. Exactly. It's about taking a strategic approach to sales, wow. eliminating the ambiguity and focusing on the factors that truly drive success. So we've gone from understanding what NCA is to seeing how it can actually change the game for sales teams. It's a powerful tool. Very powerful. Now, before we wrap up, I want to leave our listeners with something to ponder. Something to chew on. Okay, I like where this is going. Imagine this. You could identify just one necessary condition that's consistently missing in your lost deals. Just one. That would be huge. It would be a game changer. And that's the power of NCA. It helps us find those missing pieces, those critical gaps that are preventing us from reaching our full potential. Absolutely. And once you know what those gaps are, you can start filling them in. Love it. 
Well, on that note, I think we've covered a lot of ground today. We've explored the WHY of NCA, why it matters, why it's so powerful. We've laid the groundwork. Exactly. And in our next deep dive, we're going to get into the HOW, how to actually implement NCA within your sales organization, how to put these concepts into practice. So stay tuned for that. Looking forward to it. Until then, happy selling, everyone. And smart selling. Yes, smart selling. Yeah.